Hey guys, how we doing? Welcome back to another video of 7 Days to Die. This is our Alpha 18, this is the OG series. So, um, we are just going around today mucking about, and I figured, you know what? I may as well have hit up some POIs that I haven't really done before on this series here, and I just want to show you guys as well some of the nice little neat places you can actually find yourself if you find these type of POIs. So, this will be the first one and you can actually get in this way well into this py a couple of ways doesn't look like much does it on the outside but what you want to do is you want to sort of either bust open here and you'll be able to uh, well open up a little secret stairway and you can actually go down this way and you will have a fortified little bucket for yourself so you can go down this way. I tend to go down the other way. Um, there is one more other um, other way that you can actually go down, of course. So that is one way you can come down. And unfortunately, it is locked. But you've also got a lockpick depending on what level you are and what type of hardware. And of course, patience if you have it um, to get down that way. But you can go down this way. Oh, hello. Look at you. Coming in here. And unfortunately, as you've just noticed there, that these here will not um, stand up to anything. So pretty much, you know, you may as well um, have a gentle breeze and knock it down kind of thing. So um, anyway, you can go down this way. And we can just bust open this hole here. And look at that. This was on the other side. We're on the other side, basically. So what you probably want to do is you probably just want to... Um, uh, block that up with some uh, wood frames or something like that or you might just want to cap it off and yeah just make sure that you're going to be safe for the night ahead if you end up staying down here because well, to be honest you can break open this place um, up nicely and um, just make a base for yourselves it's really actually a really good thought out um, underground base I would actually use it um, what I was actually annoyed about at the beginning of this let's play is I didn't actually find one to begin with and I'll, this is where I wanted to have a base of operations for myself but look it is what it is um, for someone that's first time playing the game or they just want to have themselves a nice little secure base I think this would be a very good um, way of doing it that's just my opinion eventually um, as the hordes get a little bit more uh, severe and you start getting a little bit more into the game you probably want to start pl plugging this up maybe um, with some concrete something like uh, to that extent so you, you don't really um, you know end up in a position where you're cornered and especially if you haven't opened up this then yeah you've only got one um, way to get in and out and it is all night so we're gonna have to come back um, at a later stage, sure, oh, sorry, we're going to have to um, start preparing for Horde. Ooh, I didn't have any um, lockpicks on me. That's interesting. I can't believe I didn't have any lockpicks. But, hey, I've got a lockpick here, and this will open up this nicely. So, yeah, we've got um, Horde Night coming up for the next video, which is going to be amazing. Um, I don't really need to do much, to be honest with you, because I think I've got everything I need to survive the night. So I shouldn't have much of an issue. We'll be in that little confinement of that base there um, that, that I've got. So, yeah, why not? Oop, oop, hang on, hang on. What, what did I do there? And, yeah, so I think we'll find... Oh, nice. What have we got here? Level 5, some still Nux parts, and another level 5 reinforced club. Oop, I'll take that with me. Why not? Um, were there any of these locked? It was just this one. And, yeah, okay. Yeah, so Horde Knight is going to be upon us, which is always good. To be honest, I actually completely forgot about Horde Knight. I was just, you know, enjoying myself really, just, you know, mucking about and, um, yeah, just doing what I wanted to do best. But, yeah, if you've got the hardware and the tools behind this, if you've got an auger, if you've got a level 5 pickaxe like I've got that's modded pretty much, then, yeah, look, you should be able to get through this without a problem, as you can see here. Make up your own door, and you've got yourself a neat, secured little base. And if you want to go that one step further, what I probably would recommend is if you probably make one of those little perimeters around your base where um, the zombies will just jump up um, on those little inclines that I made for my base. You've actually, it's actually a really small s section here, so if you really don't want to use all of this, you can just pretty much just do that. Why not? Because I don't think that would be much of a problem. 
and especially if you've plugged up that ventilation area there I don't think there's going to be any problems about you getting any sort of issues from any sort of zombies or anything like that um, you know what you can actually use this section here as part of a horde base I reckon and then you can use this as a little access point to um, get the hell out of there if um, the going gets tough you know what that's actually not a bad idea um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that for future referencing actually why not yeah I actually don't mind that at all so that's that little base there I actually don't mind that I really don't and of course you've got the old tried and proven uh, the well base over here so again another excellent excellent way of just starting out if you guys have um, absolutely very little experience in creating your own base if you just want to find yourself in a in a situation where you're going to be safe um, I would definitely recommend coming down this way here and busting open this so yeah as we sort of just bust open up all of these fellas here I'm not going to do all of it because for me it's not uh, necessary uh, for what, what I want to do just in case I'll just get rid of that now this this will take a while if you were to do this yourself I wouldn't do that I'd go into here first and just bust open this and rather than doing it um, 7000 versus say 2500 plus 2500 well you would get in here a lot more quicker doing it this way and look don't get me wrong once you are able to you can spend a bit of time spend a night busting that open um, you will get some zombies you know trying to come down this way you will grab their attention so if you want to spend a day in doing it that might be the way to do it I guess but it's up to you guys but again completely fortified base yeah wouldn't have a problem with this either and much larger than the previous base that I showed so a little bit more space to move around and things like that oh what do we get out of this one hollow point and how much is this I might just take that it's actually a decent sell what's this and I'll just read that because that's only 125 dookies and what do we got here nothing at all what's in here nothing in there but yeah you can have a neat little base of operations so you can wrench all of this out if you want to get some pretty decent electrical parts so probably recommend that you get your salvage operations up to a standard okay and this for me two shot i'm in love it don't need any of that don't need any of that there's some glass there if you want it Ooh, can't believe i never found that before well there you go cool and let's just open up this fella what's in here nothing nothing for me and this is the only door that's opened of course um, oh, we've got a shipping crate here what do we have a toilet okay and right over this way and look you can get through the other way if you really wanted to but while I'm here I may as well do it this way Ooh, seeds I've got the yucca seed okay cool um, take all of that won't take that and you've got a cooking pot if you want it so you're pretty much ready to go and this is probably the other reason why that I suggested those two bases where you find all the necessities can because you can get the cooking pot in both which is great and here um, again wouldn't want to just open up that because that is very inefficient so you may as well just bust open the side here but again if you want to make yourself your home your home and you want to make it look neat and you know tidy for your own personal satisfaction well you've got some time to bust that down at some point you can definitely go ahead and do that all right let's just bust open this take what's in here trash compactor what's in here absolutely nothing um okay what's in here hidden stash okay not bad and that just exploded cool that should have been like a little box there or it should be like you know um a like a working stiff or something like that um, oop, why did i do that why did you do that anyway we've got that and that and again we've got ourselves our lock key over here so this won't take long for us to get in to this so i just figured why not just open up this fellow here and yeah we should be able to bust our way in so nearly there alrighty here we go here we go 
Three, two, one, boom. Uh, what is in here? Eh. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you just get what you get. But yeah, again, like I said, it is a neat little POI. Love it. And honestly, there's really not much in the house there. There's obviously no connection point to get into the house, so that's just like a little front, to be honest with you. But yeah, they're the two little bases that I like to sort of use if I were to, you know, first start up on a new, you know, Let's Play. Um, I don't know. I, in a vanilla series, I don't think I'd probably go for that now because I'm really comfortable with vanilla. If it was like a, a modded series that I'm really not familiar with and I don't know exactly what to expect or anything like that, I'd probably revert back to those um, style of bases just so I can, you know, um, I can have a place that I can call home. Actually, what's in here? There is the, the different versions and variations of the um, uh, of the farm there. Okay, well, you know what? Let's um, let's make our way through because I haven't actually gone through this one before. Yeah, really, I haven't. I haven't actually done that. Okay, of course. You know what? You know what? You are a pain in my you know what? Anyway, there we go. And yeah, look, it's a neat little passageway. We can walk our way through. Hey guys, what's going on? Is there anyone in here for me to clobber down? Anyone? Anyone? Really? Wow, there's a bit of um concrete in here. I'm actually pretty surprised about that. What's this? Is this... Ooh, no, I, I will keep you. No, that doesn't open, that doesn't open. Alright, that's pretty neat. Yeah, but you know what, you could actually make yourself a little place around here, but to be honest, this is very, very, um, weak, I would think. Yeah, I don't think I would, um, use this, well, for a very long time. You probably want to, you know, stay the first couple of nights, or maybe up until, you know, day seven. I'd probably do that. Um, yeah, I don't think this would be something that I would be using full time, personally, that's just me. But you actually have a few levels here that you can access. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Okay, you just hang there for me. Uh, what's in here? There's a, there is a decent amount of cobblestone and um, concrete. I'm actually really, really, really surprised about that. Look what's that. Anyway, I'm going to grab that and leave the sham there. Ah, uh, you are locked. This is what happens when you don't bring your lockpicks. And <laughs> for me, suffice to say, I mean, I'm really, I'm really good at doing that. I, I really should have my lockpicks, and I usually do. And, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just continue breaking that. Um, didn't realise the extra swing was going to happen. But I'll, I just, you know noticed that I had that there. Anyway, I can't believe I did that. Anyway, I, I assume that that's um, not uncommon. I'm, I'm assuming a lot of people would do the same thing, not just in that situation, but in literally any other situation with that extra swing. But hey, it happens. Doesn't matter. Um, Alright, oh, okay. Got some explosive charges. That's cool. Sometime and the arrow rest mod. Okay. Well, um, what can I get rid of? Perfect. Look at that. And that's pretty much it. Not a bad little POI, actually, if I, don't, if I do say so myself. And... Can you, oh, didn't realise there was so much more in here. Cool. You know what? I might just eat and drink. Why not? Because I am a little bit hungry. And I think I should be right now. Yeah. Cool. Extra storage space. What do I drop here? Empty can. Well, let's just take those and scrap those. There we go. Look at that. So, yeah. Okay. And you can actually open up these hatches. Hilarious. Okay. <laughs> and is there anything over here? No. This is just the exit. Cool. And I would assume that this would be outside. Ooh. We've got a boar there too. 
Got a little piggy there. Oh, I'm not going to bother with him. Yeah, all in all, not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Okay. Cool. So, that was pretty much it for that one there. But, you know what? I think I might actually go ahead and leave it here today because, honestly, um, Horde Knight is upon us and I don't want to spend too much time doing this. So, this was a considerably shorter video than what I normally am used to. But, hey... If you guys enjoyed the shorter videos, let me know. So I'll just see if I can test this one out and see what you guys think. But let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. If you would so much do me the pleasure in dropping a like. And if you're new to the channel, want to see more of 7 Days, um, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway guys, as I'm doing some six kids around here um, next video will be the horde night so yeah i'm going to spend throughout this day just making sure that i am absolutely ready and if there's anything i need to do that well i can do this in this time so anyway horde night next video and i shall see you then